Now question 5b, x minus 5 over 10 equals x plus 2 over 7. We're going to cross multiply again. And we've just gone over in the last question how cross multiplying is true. It actually works and it, 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 it's a real thing, right? So it means if I take this quantity and multiply it by this, that times 7 or 7 times x minus 5, that is going to be equal to this guy times this guy. 10 times x plus 2. Okay? And now I'll just solve the equation. So simplify both sides and solve for x, right? So 7 times x and 7 times negative 5 minus 35 equals 10 times x, 10x uh, plus 20, right? Right? And then we can simply solve for x. I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. That'll give me negative 3x minus 35 equals 20. Then I'm going to add 35 to both sides. That'll give me negative 3x equals 55. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And we get x equals a negative number. 3 into 5 goes once and 2 over. 3 into 25 goes um, 8 times, right? Remainder 1. Negative 18 and a third, or you could just write it as negative 55 over 3, right?